three months? Three months? She laughed. I couldn't do that, Jane. I was telling a single friend of mine about a client who waited a few months before becoming intimate with the guy that she was dating because she wanted to make sure that he wasn't just interested in sleeping with her. She wanted to know that he actually wanted the same commitment that she was looking for, and so that's why she waited a few months. She believed she had a right to have sex, to be intimate on her terms when she wanted it, not just something men get to do, and she wasn't going to give that up. Now, she did have that right, but it came with a price too. So here's what this looks like in real life, because this is what I told her. You're going to think you finally found what you're looking for. He's going to seem so different from the rest. He's going to show you all the signs of being into you, and you're going to feel like all the work that you've done is finally paying off. He's going to seem genuine. He'll act like he cares about your feelings and he won't be afraid to show you his feelings and let you know how he feels about you. And then, oh, there's the fireworks. You've never felt quite this way about someone else and anyone else before. And you're starting to think that he could be Mr. Right. And this is where the problem happens because this is where you're going to be like my friend who's telling me she can handle it. And it's where we want to let our guards down completely and let our hearts take over. But it's not that time, not yet. Instead, this is where you take a deep breath. You let your practical mind have a say before you're in any deeper, before you give yourself away, before you give yourself to someone who doesn't deserve you, your body and your soul. Because I know that you know exactly what I mean if you've been here before. There's this point that we reach where there's no turning back, that place where we throw caution in the wind and we let ourselves get so caught up in the feelings that change everything about our normal thinking, rational selves. Now, if you've been in this situation before, or maybe you're even in it now, pause the video here and take a moment to add in a comment below. Even if it's just a yes or no, I'd love to hear what you're, where you're at right now and click the subscribe button while you're at it. It's such a short leap between that place where we still have our heads and we can still think clearly and that place where the pull of what he offers us becomes stronger than the protection of our true selves. See, it's that leap between when we can still think logically about him and the relationship and how much we realistically still don't even know about him and how much we still need to let time tell if he really is different, if he really is worth getting exclusive with. Because no matter how much we try to, this is our ammo. This is what we do all too well. We fall head over heels for the guy who sweeps you off your feet, pursues you like there's no one else but you in his sights because it makes you feel that good, that wanted, that desirable. Because what's really happening here, it's, it's this feeling like this that helps erase all our previous feelings of unworthiness that we've carried over from our original hurts as a little girl from a time when we felt we were never enough and we had to prove that we were lovable just as we were. So subconscious this is, but, but it is so true and it colors everything. See, it's not about him, it's about you and how good it feels to be loved and accepted like it seems you are when you're with him. And while that's a wonderful part of falling in love with someone and it's a part of what true love is, if you aren't careful, you're going to begin to see things the way you want them to be and not the way they actually are. You're going to lose your obje objectivity. You're going to be begin to see him in the light of his potential and not in the light of reality. Now, I know you're thinking that that's just the kind of loving, caring, giving woman you are, and this is what you do. This is your pattern with every good and beautiful intention. And one of these days, you're thinking it's just going to work out, so you're going to keep on doing it. But I come back to this point. Because this is what I keep hearing from you as your biggest regret only after the fact. You just don't know him well enough yet. You don't. Not yet. He hasn't had enough time to prove his worth to you. You have a history of seeing the best side of a guy you're falling for. And you have to ask yourself if this is what's happening again. You have a tendency to not see the other less favorable sides of him. And that's a problem because you're such a loving, giving, pleasing soul. You forget he has to show you how much he deserves your love, not the other way around. That's your thing that you always do. You prove yourself. You show him why you deserve to be loved by this guy and every guy you actually choose because these men you're choosing are just like someone who represents who, someone who was always so hard to get. Don't be like that. Don't do this to yourself. No matter how you justify it, don't give yourself away too early before you've had a chance to see who he actually is. You deserve to be loved. You deserve to have someone truly love you for yourself just because you're you. And you don't need anyone to prove that to you. 
Don't give yourself away until you know he's the real thing, that he's in it for the kind of committed relationship that you want. Make sure that he proves that to you first. Consistent actions over time are how you find out. Don't settle. Don't settle for anything less.